This video will show you how to power on, power off, and run a sample using the spectrofluorimeter FS5. To power on, use the switch on the right hand side. Open the fluorical software. You should hear noise coming from the spectrofluorimeter at this point. Prepare one cuvette with only water and a second cuvette with your sample diluted with water. Place the cap on your sample cuvette and invert a couple of times to mix. In the software, click on the Setup tab and select Xenon Lamp Setup. In the control section, click On. At this step, you should hear a noise as the lamp turns on. If the lamp does not turn on, wait a few moments and try turning it on again. After the lamp is on, insert your cuvette filled with water into the instrument. Click on the signal rate icon in the top left. Set the excitation wavelength to 350 nanometers, band pass to 2 nanometers. Set the e emission wavelength to 397 nanometers, band pass to 2 nanometers. Then click apply. The emission signal rate should increase considerably, indicating that the instrument can be used to perform the experiment. Click close. Carefully insert the cuvette with your diluted sample into the sample holder. The emission map parameters, set the excitation scan from 300 to 500 nanometers, set the emission scan from 500 to 800 nanometers, both will have a step of five. Set the dwell time to 0.2 seconds and the number of scans to one. Click apply and then click start. During the emission map acquisition, pay attention to the intensity of the emission signal as the wavelength is increased. The excitation wavelength will correspond to the maximum intensity of the emission signal. The acquisition can be stopped when the intensity of the emission signal starts to decrease. Right click and select peak settings to show the wavelength at the maximum intensity. After collecting this emission spectrum, a second spectrum should be collected using a smaller scan range to get a better refinement of the fluorescent spectrum. Click the new signal icon again and select emission map. Set the excitation scan from 400 to 440 nanometers. Set the emission scan from 600 to 750 nanometers. Again, monitor the emission signal intensity as a function of the excitation wavelength. Wait until the emission signal reaches its maximum intensity. When reached, you can repeat the steps to stop the scan and get the wavelength at the maximum peak. In the new signal icon, select emission scan. In the parameters, set the scan from 500 to 750 nanometers with a step of one. Keep the dwell time at 0.250 and the number of scans at 1. In the excitation scan, use the wavelength you collected from the emission map. In this analysis, set it to 430 nanometers. Click Apply, then Start. Your emission scan will now be collected. This is only one scan and will be relatively short. After collecting the emission spectrum, right-click and select peak setting. The next step is to collect the excitation spectrum. In the new signal icon, select the excitation scan. Set the scan from 350 to 500 nanometers with a step of 1. Keep the dwell time at 0.2 seconds and number of scans at 1. Set your emission wavelength to 655. Click apply and then start. You will now collect your excitation spectrum. This scan will also be short. After collecting the excitation spectrum, you will combine the two spectra. To do so, right-click and select Insert Scans. 
Select the Emission Scan from the menu and select Create New Window. Click Apply. Right-click and select Peak Settings. You can also select Plot Options to change the graph settings, such as Background and Graph Color. To turn off the instrument, click the Setup tab and select Xenon Lamp Setup. Click Off and Close. Close the software and power off using the switch on the right-hand side.